Hi, Tom here. In this week's Circle Line Art School video, I'll show you one way to draw a Tesla Cybertruck. For this drawing, I use a 4B pencil and some A4 paper. The first step in the drawing is to draw using guidelines, soft lines, a box. With a straight vertical line for the nearest corner of the box. For the far left corner, we can make the vertical line lean towards the left as it goes up. The box will be longer than it is wide. And for the right hand vertical side of the box, we can again make the line, the vertical line lean to one side, this time to the right hand side. It would be useful to draw the back of the box too. So we've got like a transparent box, so we've got a transparent box which will fit the main body of the truck. Once the box is ready, we can then draw some more guidelines. Start by drawing a line across the width of the top of the box, more than halfway back. I'll draw two vertical guidelines from the edges going upwards that are shorter than the height of the box at this point and then join the two vertical lines up with a horizontal line. And then we can draw two diagonal straight lines to the front of the box. Now draw two more diagonal lines this time to the back of the box. And then we can add two more lines to these diagonal lines to make them into long, thin triangles at the back of the truck. At this stage, it would be a good idea to check your drawing and make sure that it looks okay. And if there's something to change, this is a good time to change it. Now we can draw the simple panels at the front of the Cybertruck. Look at the shapes carefully. With a drawing like this, where there aren't very many lines, it's even more important than usual to get all the lines right. So if they're wrong, the main thing is to notice them so that we can redraw them and correct them as you go along. That's why we're spending time drawing the basic shapes of the box and the guidelines and the basic structure of the front of the truck. Most of the lines in the Cybertruck are straight lines, but there are a few very gentle curves towards the front of the truck and it would be a good idea just to spend time to make them as good as you can at this stage. When you're ready, darken some of the lines that you have that are needed. And now the next step is to draw the side of the Cybertruck. We can draw some thin lines for the door panels. We could also add a line for the base of the windscreen. And now we need to find the shape of the wheels. It's a good idea not to draw the wheels straight away, but to draw a square seen from the side in which we can draw the wheel later on. Half the square needs to be below the base of the truck. Next, draw an X from corner to corner in the square and then a simple cross parallel to the original box that we drew at the beginning. Now we have a guide for the shape of the circular wheel which we're looking at 
from an angle. Next, draw a circle seen from the side. We can just draw a circle within the edges of the guidelines that we have just drawn. So now we have a wheel seen from an angle as an ellipse. Next, we can draw the thickness of the wheel, which are just a couple of lines which are parallel to the front width lines of the box. Next, we can repeat this process and draw a box for the back wheel. The wheel will look smaller because it's at a distance from us, but the technique of drawing it is just the same. Check the size and placement of the square in which we're going to draw the wheel before you start to draw the details of the actual wheel. And make sure that the square is half on the box of the car and half below the box of the car. Next, we can add and improve the thickness of the wheels so that they work together. It's always a good idea when drawing to check the earlier lines and to see if they still make sense in the drawing, as if something that we've just drawn now means that we can see a line earlier that we drew that could be corrected. It's good to notice it and change it as you go along. So always try and look at the whole of your drawing, even though you're only drawing one bit at a time. Now we can draw the side panels of the Cybertruck and the edge of the windscreen. So now we have the basic shape of the Tesla Cybertruck. We still need to add some details to the windscreen and to the interior of the truck, the parts of the interior of the truck that we might be able to see. Once you have the details that you feel are necessary for your drawing, then you could start to add some tonal shading. If you'd like to learn more about how to draw from scratch, please visit my website, circlelineartschool.com, where you'll find details of all my online drawing courses for beginners. Next up, see the details of this drawing and shading unfold in real time.
Thank you for watching this drawing. I hope you found this drawing tutorial useful for your own drawings. If you'd like to keep up to date with all of the content that I make, please subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already, Circle and Art School, where I post a new video every week. If you like this drawing, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment. Thanks again for watching and see you next time.